Okay, well it's time to sort out the uh, power supply on this one. The owner has said yes, he does want it safe and as it should be. So uh, this is the bits I've got. Um, basically, it needs the cable that you fit to it needs to have a rating of at least 10 amps. Well, I've got a 17 amp cable. It's not quite as thick as the original, but um, I believe it's 12 gauge, which is what they asked for. So that's my my two cables. Fuse holder, I mean this is like 10 gauge wire on this, it's absolutely mentally thick. But um, what it is, it's a mini blade fuse holder. You can see we've got 15 amp fuse in there which is one of these little things. Um, so, I don't know, let's get you in a little bit closer so you can see what I mean. It's just like an automotive um, fuse but it's a, a mini blade. And it was uh, it's 30 amp rated that, so that's like well over the top. But you know, better to be over than under, really, isn't it? So anyway, that's uh, nicely sealed, so sealed from dust. I don't know if it's actually waterproof, but um, you don't say that it's waterproof, but it might be. You never know. So let's um, out of interest, get this get this tape off, shall we? And have a look, um, see what's inside it. Let's get the camera just reposition that slightly. Let's peel some of this off and let's see what sort of join it might be superb. I mean, I'm gonna have to do some sort of like splice solder splice set, and then um, I'm gonna heat shrink the hell out of it. So it might have two or three different layers of heat shrink because I want to try and get the cable uniform as I can. Obviously the uh, positive wire has got to have the fuse holder in. I was originally thinking maybe to go straight back into the actual power lead but these things here, you can never get these off. I could try and get another one but um, I've not seen one of those advertised anywhere. I'm sure I could get one from Ye um, Yesu, but um, I'm sure they charge a fortune for it. Anyway. Oh, yeah. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Yeah, we ain't got a lot of cable there. What have we got in here? Mmm. <laughs> this is good. Not. Okay, let's get in for a closer look at that because that is very special. Let's see if we can get you right in on that. Okay, so what we've got is what looks like an original Yesu um, power connector. So this would have probably gone on to a double fuse unit or one of those like Molex uh, plugs that you unplug. And you can see the wire, this is the thickness of the wire one side, that's the thickness of the other. And it, um, to me, it appears that that's just been pushed in. Yeah, that's been pushed in. Now I'm not sure how many strands of the cable are actually in it. Let's just give it a, a slight tug. Oh dear, there we go. Oh my god. Nice, tidy. I mean, Jesus Christ, how can you? Right, I'm going to unwrap the other one, see what we find with that one. And no surprise, it's the same story with the uh, red cable that literally just pushed in. But, I mean, I don't know what gauge this wire is, but it ain't very good. And when you compare it, I mean, that's the stuff I bought. It doesn't look much thicker, but there's a lot more copper in it. That is shocking. I mean, it's got a, a ferrite on it. If it's going to do any good, I don't know. I'll stick that back on the finished lead. And we've got a couple crock clips. I don't know. 
this certainly not rated at um this certainly not rated at like 10 amps <laughs> You're lucky if they're three amps i don't know what amperage you get out of those to be fair but i'll have to find out what um what he wants to put on the new ones on the end anyway right, let's go on to this power supply so i'm going to the uh, ends of these off doesn't really matter if they're uh, even. Is that um, 10 gauge? Right, so my fuse. Yeah, that is 10 gauge. Jeez. So what I'm going to try and do is push them together and um, twist them and solder them. Then I'm going to get a load of heat shrink and um, build up some heat shrink around it. So bear with me. Let's get some bits and pieces out ready. Okay, well, I've got all my heat shrink um, sorted out now. So I'm going to do that in three different stages. So I'm just going to try and just ease these wires in together. There we go. So I'm trying to get to really as smooth a transition as possible between the two wires. So I'm going to pop a bit of um, flux in there, just a little bit to help me out along the way. Let's use some thicker solar wire. Just standard normal solder. God, see what this iron is getting really hot at the end here. Almost un untouchable for some reason. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing here, it's um, get it on the camera really, what I don't want to do is get any like big blobs of solar on it, but I want to make sure, cool, it's getting too hot that iron, there's something definitely not right with that iron. fully soldered that ain't going anywhere so let's get a bit of isopropyl and just clean that off a minute because I don't want flux on it this might seem over the top but you know, these are, this is a mobile radio and it's um, highly likely to be used out and about and uh, the last thing you want is a cable corroding and coming apart in your car and touching any body work. Okay, right, I'm happy that's clean. Let's get you in a little bit so you can see what I'm doing with the, um, again, this is not something I do, <laughs> do every day. So uh, don't quote me on any of this, but it's just what I'm doing for this particular case. So what, I'm, what my plan is, is to shrink this small sleeve on first then shrink exactly the same size over the top of that and then one to seal it all in afterwards. Again, over the top probably, but you know, that's what I'm gonna do. 
Okay, so just got my heat gun. That's the first bit. Let's put that down somewhere safe. So then I'm going to slide my second bit over the first bit. Same diameter, but um, because I've already shrunk one, that should work quite nice. And the next bit. piece to just keep it all together. safely say that that joint is pretty good basically going to pull the the cable out of the uh, radio before you pull it pull that apart it's really solid yeah, please that. Right. out there. Let's just squash that one in. There we go. Another one done. Again, we'll give that a clean off. Let's give it a bit of flux. <clears throat> we did determine the full final length of the wire. I'm going to give him a, a lot more cable than he had because. Um, you know, I like to have my power supply underneath the bench, my my amateur power supply. So I like a nice lead that will go right down over and uh, drop in. So he'll be getting a bigger lead than he had before. Whether he wants it or not is another thing, but I'm sure he'll appreciate it. Bear with me, I'm going to do the uh, neutral in it. Okay, going to do the same to the negative lead. For a second. So a quick look at that. No stray wires. A little bit of a squash in there.
There we go. So again, I'm just going to clean the flux off. Turn the yogurt on there. It's just to keep the wires at the same length. I'm not going to unravel the same amount of each. Right, well unfortunately uh, while I was doing this I was actually on the telephone as well so apologies for the loss of the normal audio but um, hopefully the voiceover will suffice. Um, yeah basically what I'm, what I'm doing here is heat shrinking up a couple layers again as I did on the positive wire just to uh, make it all safe so as uh, well, there's no, no ingress of any water and nothing's going to get through that and uh, that's that's it's got to be as strong as the cable itself easily. Um, then finally all I did was um, go all the way down through the cable and just tape it all together with some uh, black insulation tape. Just keeps it together quite nicely really and um, tidies it up a bit. And, uh, hopefully uh, the owner will have back uh, a far superior radio than he let me have to start with. Because uh, somebody certainly got it. I, I just can't believe the poor state of those leads. Anyway, um, back back to the video now. Okay, well that's it all done. Um, I've got a couple of spare fuses for the chat there, just in case. But I mean, these are available any year, like auto retail places. I haven't finished the ends of the wire yet because I don't know what connector he wants on it. So I've got a choice of different ring sizes there. Or uh, I tend to use these on my power supply, just like a U shape. Just loosen the the nut and screw that down in behind it. So I like those. But uh, see what it comes back with. If not, I'll just leave it as bare lead so he can have it uh, however he wants. So that's it all done. A little FT1500 Yesu. As it's upside down. All sorted good to go so if you like that give me a thumbs up and um, please feel free to leave comments and subscribe etc catch you on another video soon bye for now